book trailers for award winners, the Caldecott and Newberry Medals. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, and sometimes this is true, as in the case of Officer Buckle and Gloria. Page 29 of the book, it illustrates Gloria the dog licking Officer Buckle. The reader can't interpret that it means Gloria the dog and Officer Buckle are buddies and that they love each other and they are happy without the author needing to write it. However, sometimes a sentence can create a thousand pictures. In the book Shallow, the author talks about the dog looking like he's abused. Well, the reader can instantly imagine the dog with his head and his tail tucked, scared and shaking. Pictures and words go together like peanut butter and jelly. Whether the pictures are printed in the book or the imagination of the reader, one visualizes it and it's automatic when you're enjoying a children's literature. The Caldecott and the Newberry Award are both awards given by the American Library Association, which both of these books did receive. Have you ever heard of a dog doing tricks? We are not talking about just sitting and rolling over, but real tricks like flipping in the air and signing autographs. Gloria is a trick master. In 1996, the Calicut Award winner was a book called Officer Buckle and Gloria, written and illustrated by Peggy Rathman. This book won the Calicut Medal because of the colorful watercolors and cartoon style illustrations. If you look at page 22 and 23 in the book, the picture alone tells you that Officer Buckle was in shock when he was watching the television. Officer Buckle's legs go in the air. He spills his popcorn and milk. It shows Gloria looking uneasy at Officer Buckle. The mirror in the background shows why Officer Buckle looks so shocked while looking at the television. One can see all this by just looking at the colorful detail and animation that is in this picture. The main characters are Officer Buckle and Gloria, the police dog. This book falls into the category of picture books because of the illustrations. Officer Buckle's safety speeches are too boring, so he takes his dog Gloria with him. Gloria begins performing all the safety accidents in the background of Officer Buckle. The students are interested in the safety assemblies, but only because of Gloria's funny tricks. The thing is, Gloria is always behind Officer Buckle on stage, and so he thinks the children are being entertained by him. Officer Buckle finds out about Gloria's shenanigans by watching a news clip video. He is sad and embarrassed because he thought the kids liked him, but all along it was Gloria they were happy to see. He stops presenting his safety meetings and leaves Gloria to handle them on her own. Little does he know, the biggest safety accident ever is about to happen at school. Can the students convince Officer Buckle to come back with Gloria to the school? What would you do to save an animal from being abused? Shiloh by Phyllis Reynolds Naylor won the Newberry Medal in 1992. Shiloh deserved the Newberry Medal because it was written for children with many life lessons in it. It's about a loyalty, the love for an animal, a parent's love for their son, abuse, right from wrong, and that you have to work hard for what you want in life. The main characters of the children's realistic fiction book are Marty Preston, Judd Travers, and Shiloh the Dog. Marty Preston is the boy who came across the dog he named Shiloh. Judd Travers is the owner of the dog that Marty wants. Shiloh is about a boy named Marty Preston who is walking to school and finds a dog following him. The dog has his tail tucked, which makes Marty believe he is being abused. Marty names the dog Shiloh. His dad tells him he cannot keep the dog because it belongs to Judd Travers, a neighbor of the Prestons. When they return the dog to Judd, he begins to kick the dog, and Marty was screaming for him to stop. Marty wanted to keep Shiloh, but could not buy him. Shiloh left Judd's house again one night, and Marty decided to keep him in a pen where no one would know he, where he was. One night, Shiloh was attacked by another dog. Once the dog killed, Marty was to return him to Judd once again. In the process, he caught hunting, Judd hunting illegally. He made a deal that he would not tell if he could keep Shiloh and work for him. Does Judd follow through with this and keep his promise to give Shiloh, or does he change his mind and tell Marty he cannot have him? Excuse me, Judd. Marty's gotten awful attached to that dog, and, uh, well, we'd like to know how much you want for him. This dog's not for sale. 
I've been in in season. <laughs> well, what are you, the game warden? There's a $200 fine for killing a rabbit out of season. Yeah. Well, I didn't kill no rabbit now, did I? What about this? You set this trap? Boy, are you trying to stir up trouble? 